All right, giggity, 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 let's go Detroit, because the Red Wings have themselves a game against the Colorado Avalanche, and we have a brand new wing, somebody who has not suited up with the wheel on his chest before. He's a guy that everybody in Red Wings Nation has been hyped about the past few years, and he is starting out his NHL career... Okay, he's not going to have a full career's worth of time now. He'll probably get sent back down a little bit later. He's only up on an emergency basis, but let's talk today about Red Wings prospect turned defenseman Simon Edvinson. Every time we talk about Edvinson, we always have to go out there and placate the comments because, hey, this guy is a top prospect. He's got a lot of hype attached to his name. Red Wings fans are excited, but... It's going to take some time before Edvinson becomes the player we know he could be at the NHL level. If you're not up to date, then I guess we can go over the profile here before we dive into the news. Edvinson is 20 years old. He's 6'6", 216 as a left-handed defenseman, signed by the Red Wings on his ELC. He was drafted by the Wings back in the 2021 draft 6th overall. He was a guy that at his best could be seen as a very mobile and just smooth two-way defenseman, a guy whose overall poise for the game is so mature and who has such a good activation gear when he has the puck in stride. He's a guy who didn't really produce all too well with the SHL in his draft year. I mean, the guy had one assist in 10 games, but last season, he had 19 points in 44 games. Pretty nice. And this season, after making his transition to North America, the guy had 27 points in 51 Grand Rapids Griffins games. Now, Edvinson was a player that a lot of people sort of said at the beginning of the year, okay, I can understand why they sent him down. Sure, you can't really expect everybody to be more at Cider, but you gotta remember that Cider was drafted in 2019, and his rookie season was 2021-2022. So, it took him about two seasons to get up to speed. Now you have Simone Edvinson, who is sort of in a similar mold. He's just getting a little bit of an extended look earlier than Cider did when Cider was Edvinson's age. Nowadays, though, you had Edvinson doing what he was doing in the AHL, and the Red Wings announced yesterday that they recalled Austin Zarnick and Edvinson from the Griffins under emergency conditions. This is the tweet that had everybody up in arms with happiness and delight, because now this guy is going to be playing against Colorado. This is Ansar Khan, Simon Edvinson naturally excited about his NHL debut versus the Avalanche. He said his parents and brother are flying in from Sweden for the game. That, in and of itself, is amazing. He also had Ress Wings Lalonde saying that Edvinson replaces Lindstrom, who's been dealing with an injury in the lineup tomorrow. Being here on an emergency recall, Edvinson may be around for long. Zadina is also cleared to play tomorrow. Now, what I wanted to do as well was go over Edvinson and this article that's on NHL.com. Edvinson talks about his expected NHL debut. They called me up here for a reason. The Red Wings' sixth overall pick in 2021 practices with the club on Friday, ahead of his potential debut against the Avs on Saturday. Edvinson, who is recalled with Austin Zarnick from the AHL, is expected to make his debut, yada yada yada. They called me up here for a reason, Edvinson said after Friday's practice. I just want to play my game, as I've been doing down there for the last couple of games. During Friday's practice, Edvinson, who was Detroit's sixth overall pick, was skating alongside Robert Haig and even got some reps on the PK. He's a Swede and we talk our language, the D-man said about the benefit of being paired with his countrymen in Hague. He's a great hockey player. We're just going to go out there and have fun. Do my best to help the team win. That's what I want to do. We're on a run with Grand Rapids, he says. I was just focused on that, making the playoffs there. But getting called up here to the main squad was awesome as well. And of course, you know, since he's only really here on a quote-unquote emergency recall, he's going to get sent back down eventually. When that happens, we don't know when, but this is sort of a temporary type of thing. And the Red Wings have themselves, what is it, 15 games left in the NHL season this year? What is it? I'm going to go out there and just look at it right here. So the Red Wings have played a total of 67 games. So yeah, 15 games remaining, which means that even if Edvinson played the remaining season, all of the games he would wouldn't really be using up his rookie year this season, so for anybody who's concerned about the Calder, he still will be eligible for that next year, no matter what happens, but he does say that the run with the Grand Rapids Griffins was fun, he just is excited to also get called up. 
Red Wings head coach Derek Lalonde admitted he's eager to see what Edvinson will bring to the lineup. Take a look at this quote over here. It's one thing to watch him down there. It's one thing to listen to our management team and listen to the Griffins head coach Ben Simon, but it looks like he'll get real action. Obviously, up under emergency basis with Ben Sherrod unavailable and Gustav Lindstrom also not being able to finish practice. Lalonde said he's received encouraging feedback from Edvinson from the Grand Rapids coaching staff. He's probably what you saw in camp. Where there's some games he looked NHL ready, and there are other games where he has a long way to go. I think this is part of the process. It sounds like a little more consistent as of late, which is very natural for young players. I personally think it's a lot harder for a young defenseman. He's progressing accordingly, and these types of opportunities are extremely valuable in his overall development. And yeah, I mean, the guy has been playing a lot better as of late with the Grand Rapids Griffins. I'm not going to lie, I don't really watch too many Griffins games, mostly because you know, Detroit or Michigan AHL hockey is not really on here in Vancouver often, but I do kind of check in once in a while, see the tapes, see some of the highlights and the stats, etc. Edvinson has been playing a lot better as of the past few weeks, few months here, especially compared to the start of the year, and that really is what you hope for out of a guy who is as young as he is because he is only 20 years old. This is the most wholesome comment in this entire article. I don't think my parents slept for the rest of the night after Edvinson called his parents and told them he got called up. Here's another comment from him when looking back on training camp in September, saying that Detroit's top brass made the right decision to initially assign him to the Grand Rapids Griffins. I felt like I wasn't quite ready to start up here. I had a lot of things to improve on. Grand Rapids has been a good place to improve that stuff, and I've been working myself up. But now, Edvinson is eager to show just how far he has come. From the physical play, just when I move my feet, the passes are harder. There's been a lot of steps that have been upgraded. And so, heading into today's game against the Colorado Avalanche, if anybody's going to go out there and expect, like, more at Cider 2.0, then you're probably going to be a little bit disappointed, just FYI, mostly because, I mean, Cider was a little older and a little bit more developed when he made his debut with the Red Wings compared to what Edvinson has gone through now. But still, just a small cup of coffee in and of itself is very valuable for a young guy like this to be given at the NHL level. Sure, it's against one of the better teams in the NHL, but let's see what Edvinson does when he goes out there and tries to defend, I don't know, Nathan McKinnon or something. That guy's been on the tear lately. Okay, they'll probably give him cider, but just to make an example out of it, right? This will be a pretty good opportunity. He's playing off against some of the best players in the league. So I'm going to be paying attention to a few things. His decision making, his poise, his calmness under pressure. And I want to see if that smooth skating just overall swagger that he carried in lower levels of play, earlier stages of his hockey career, will transcend into the NHL in Game 1. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. I mean, it's the guy's first game after all. But he's going to have his whole family in the stands, so hopefully he's able to put on a show, and the Red Wings fan base will be better for it as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Simon Edvinson and this debut he's going to have against Colorado. I hope you enjoyed this British Trolls 99. And bye.